Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to talk about fresh release from Minyard. It's a set in 135 scale which copies German industrial tractor D85 with a cargo trailer. So you can see it on the box art. Moreover I think uh, the driver figure should be also included because it is depicted on the box art and usually Minyard includes everything what is there. So I'm just checking what is written there. Just give me a second. I will take a look. So yeah, one figure, four cable spools, uh, trailer and the tractor itself. All this stuff are uh, packed into this nice box and we are going to check it closer because it's a commercial sample so it means you will get exactly the same stuff as what you will see in this video review. So first of all I have to note that kit number is 38033. Here you can see comparison with my hand. As I said box art is quite nice. Here on the side we have some safety advices and address of the manufacturer and on the opposite side you will find several marking options. So I would say they are quite simple as you can see the main difference is the writings on the uh, tractor and color of the wheels. This is a top opening box so if I open it right now here is what we have inside. Just give me a second to put the top cover aside. So as usual everything is packed into this one plastic bag as you can see it is sealed and then we have assembly manual on the bottom but we will start with plastic parts and then gradually we will move on to other components which are included here and while I'm cutting through this plastic bag I would like to remind you that you can support us with a small donation it's quite easy thing to do because we have a special donate button on our website or you can join our YouTube channel we have a, a special YouTube button it should be somewhere here so you just click it and choose the let's say stage or level you would like to support us and you would get any uh, quite interesting I would say benefits even free kit every month which is quite cool in my opinion so we are going to start with this uh, small envelope I will zoom in here it is it features mini art logo and usually such envelope is used for uh, P and this kit is not an exclusion from this rule. We have quite tiny unpainted P thread but it should be enough in order to add some fine features to this kit. Here you can take a closer look at all the parts which are included. It is I would say more or less thin so be careful while working with these parts. Try not to bend them in the wrong way. Next we have this plastic sprue packed together with a decal sheet and again it's a sealed plastic bag so that's why I'm going to cut through it and we will take a closer look together. Okay. So first of all I would like to show you the decal sheet. So here it is. We have all the necessary symbols for this two marking options as you remember and we also have a small note that is printed by Decograph. So printing quality is quite nice here. And next we also get the clear frame, so here it is. And all the parts look quite fine, but as usual Miniart does not include any masks or mask templates for this part, so you will have to cut everything with your own hands and tools. Next we continue with this narrow grey plastic sprue, here I think we should zoom in as much as we can. Let's put it aside here. So we start with parts for the tractor and they might be familiar to you if you've seen the previous video reviews with the first let's say versions of this tractor and I would say that overall these parts look quite fine. Yes some of them are quite thin and tender so you have to be careful but other than that I do not see any possible issues here. And next we have even wider plastic sprue. So here we get another mix of various elements. Here it is. Again, let's zoom in as much as we can so that you can check all these parts in detail. So here we have all the parts for the drivetrain of this tractor. And I would say they look really cool. There is nothing to complain about, it's just a matter of careful assembly and that's where it might be a bit tricky for some maneuvers because as I said some parts are quite thin and they will definitely require installation with help of tweezers because bare fingers won't solve anything here and you will just waste your time trying to do that. Next we continue with road wheels for the trailer. So here we have four spruce. They're quite small as you saw, so 
I will show you only one because they carry the same set of parts but it's really cool that we have plastic wheels here and now you can see why it is cool because we have a lot of pre-molded features on the tires that's something what you usually do not get on the uh, y new tires yes we have small amount of flesh here but I think it's easy to clean up and here inside you can see that we have guiding elements small pin and the center lock which will help you for the proper alignment obviously you have to sand a bit these parts in order to get a more realistic appearance on your tractor next we continue with more parts for the tractor so this small sprue brings us the driver's seat also some parts for the bonnet and exhaust tube everything looks quite nice and if I flip it over here you can check what we have from the opposite side so this parts just back for some additional weathering that's why I would recommend to spend some time trying to replicate some interesting finishes because it will give you a better result on your model. As for the driver figurine it is supplied on the separate sprue so here you can see it it's a typical parts division for a 135 scale so no surprises at all but we do not have any guiding elements here so be careful while working with this stuff and of course pose is predefined so you will have to let's say adjust it according to the plastic seat which you saw just a few seconds ago next we continue with uh, wooden spools so as you remember we have three of them and that's why they are supplied on three identical plastic sprues here they are i will leave you on one because uh, they are three identical sprues so here we have quite nice imitation of the wooden texture and in my opinion with some weathering you will make it even more I would say interesting and note that inside we have some guiding elements which will help you with the proper alignment because otherwise it will be really tricky to get these parts together and I mean it's easy to spoil the alignment of these parts and by the way I noticed that we actually have four spruce I found another one so four sprues for the spools and next we continue with two sprues for road wheels for the tractor this version has slightly different ones because here we have rubber bandages which are molded separately as you can see and why it is interesting because these rubber parts they're molded uh, separately from the main sections of the main or rear wheels and uh, that's why it will be easier to paint them and still these are plastic parts so that's why it will be easier to work with them and to paint and weather them what will be a bit more tricky is the front wheel because here as you can see the rubber section is pre-molded so you have to work around this I mean it is doable but it will require a bit more time from you next we continue with uh, a uh, special sprue which carries this wheel fenders for the rear wheel note that they're molded together with the subframes so be careful while separating them and here you can check them from the opposite side because we have some guiding elements for the proper position of the outer elements next we continue with parts for the trailer and here where it gets a bit more interesting because we have several subframes let's say so here you can see the first one and this one packs various chassis parts also some parts for the side panels as you can see they also feature some wooden texture on them and if i flip them over they are also detailed from the opposite side so it's not just like uh, the visible part is detailed and another one is just plain no mini art usually details both sides and that's what's good about it and one more sprue is also dedicated to uh, trailer parts and as you can see these are basically two narrow frames which are connected together again we have some wooden textured parts which will be used here and there and I can guess that we will be able to assemble the trailer with open sides I guess it will be up to you whether you would like to copy such version but still it is good to have it out of the box and here you can check it from the opposite side okay last but not the least is the assembly manual so this one comes in form of color printed brochure that's why i should close the lenses a bit so that you won't be blinded so on the first page we have a short list of the features for this kit and next we continue with the marking guide so here you can see first marking option this one comes from germany 1939-1945 and it also uh, supplies or connects to this um, marking guide for the trailer 
Next, we continue with the second Moroccan option here. I guess that's just a, let's say, comparison so that you understand the main differences between these two Moroccan options. Parts map, as usual, does not show you unused parts, so that's why you have to be careful because there are some spare parts and you will have, let's say, to use the right version for your tractor. Next we continue with the tractor assembly. So first you assemble the drivetrain. As you can see it's a matter of assembling these big parts together. And there is no engine copy so we just assemble the bonnet and place it on top of this chassis part. Next we continue with various control elements. We assemble the front cap floor and also various drivetrain parts, wheel fenders, rear rack and here we continue with exhaust tube so uh, note that even the simple exhaust is the matter of assembly uh, several parts together so be careful and pay attention on which part goes where next we continue with the front headlamps and I can see that there are several assembly options, so whether you would like to place this front mask with headlamps or you would like to place the metal, let's say, um, fasteners, which will be replacing this rack on the front. Next, we continue with road wheels. So here you can see the main road wheels assembly, here are the front ones. And then we proceed with steering wheel, various external elements where you have to combine the plastic and P parts. Note that even steering wheel is assembled out of several parts. And only then we start working on the cargo trailer, which is, I would say, somewhat simple because it's just a matter of assembling this main chassis. Then you install all these wooden panels, uh, leaf springs. Then you assemble the wheel axles and here you decide whether you would like to have open or closed version. And of course cable spools, as you can see there is even separate marking guide for these cable spools. Here we continue with the colors chart with the driver figure. And the second marking option, this one comes from Berlin 1939-1945. And I guess here we have the marking guide for the trailer. So all in all we get a quite interesting combine 135 scale, it should be already available so you can get it in Modelli Max for example. Of course I'll be happy to hear your opinion about such a list, do not forget to write about it here in the comment section below. If you like this video press the like button, subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will see you in the next video review as usual. Thank you for joining me today and bye!